<sighs> Let's get down to business. Perfect. To defeat the Huns. <laughs> Put that out of sight. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Stone Outside video filmed inside the garage because it's Washington and it's yeah, about to be a hurricane. Out there. We live in Western Washington, okay? <laughs> it's just not very nice outside most of the time. No. I know. Stupid. Why would we name our shit like that? But we do spend a lot of time outside. We, we just, attended, you know, those fishing trips, those random outings that we are always smoking weed. We thought we'd be filming more. But we just don't because we forget. Oh. Uh, we're working around it. We're trying to figure out and get our chi, but for now, <laughs> back at it again with another review. Smoking indoors. <laughs> yep. yep. So guys, today we're gonna be reviewing the Luca Unicorn. It's a uh, it's an e-rig. It's like a kind of you know like a cheaper puffco, like a like a Walmart brand puffco. I think that's the selling point. You see it. And you think puff cup. Because then you see the price, you see the price tag and you go, wow, it's a lot cheaper. And then you get one and you enjoy it for a little while. And I mean it does it does do a lot of great things. Like it is really um, efficient when it comes to like saving time and not having to get a bunch of bullshit out, like your dab tool, your torch, you know. You don't have to sit and time it right. It just heats up to a temperature, whatever temperature of the three that you choose. It's got three temperature settings. And then you put your oil in there and you take it out. And essentially to me, the way I always saw it was like, it's basically like a glorified dab pen. You put oil in it and you smoke it out of the coil. And that's something that's never really appealed to me that much just because I don't like the idea of coils that work like that. You're dumping oil onto it, it burns, and then it tastes that way forever. So it just wasn't my thing. Uh, I was always curious about it before I got one. and. Well, I was curious about it before Andrew got one. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool for a little while, but when the Seahorse Max came out and I got that, it was just a game changer. And I don't think there's really much of a comparison. Obviously, they're like the same price range, so I think we'll do a I think comparison. They cost the same. Yeah, they're the same price range. Same. They cost about the same wherever you get them, I think. But. Um, in the future we'll do a comparison and we'll maybe explain why I like the Seahorse Max so much more than this. But for now, right, we're just going to run through the settings. We're, we're gonna, just going to kind of show you how it works. Yep. So just like every other device that you buy, you know, five clicks turns it on. I'm going to be turning it off with that. And I hit it four times. I've already been smoking today, guys. So that's off now. Press the button, nothing happens, obviously. Five clicks. Turns it on, and then it's gonna be in the green setting, which is gonna be its lowest setting, and then it's gonna go blue. It's gonna go white. Two clicks changes the setting. We're gonna go out of the green. There's already oil in here because we tried to film this yesterday. And it was, was it yesterday or was it the day before yesterday? Uh, the day before yesterday. Yeah. It took four film, four takes, and it died at the end. So we were just like, screw it. We're gonna redo it. It's gonna be fully charged. So yeah. Uh, you know, you can hold the button down and it'll heat up. You can hear it. Or you can, yeah, it's very charged. Get a little smoke. Or you can hit the button three times. It's going to go into sesh mode. And there's no pulling it out of sesh mode. Once it and goes this into is, it. This is going to be where I bring up my first big dislike with this thing. My first, and probably, well, maybe my main dislike with this thing other than the fact that it's a coil, um, is that once it goes into sesh mode, you can't take it out of sesh mode. So whatever oil you put in there, it's gonna burn until sesh mode is over. Which is one minute, it's and a long time. That brings me back to my reasoning as to why I don't smoke out of regular dab rigs all that often, and it's because I don't like to waste oil. And like countless other people I've seen, you put oil in your dab rig and it's way more than you want, and you end up coughing your ass off and letting it all go to waste. And that's something that happens with this too. I, now the first good thing I will say about this is that it's really durable. It's really durable. Yeah, dude. Um, with an exception for this glass dome, because, yeah, I mean, the glass well, dome didn't break yeah, but what I'm saying is like, when that happened, that was luck. This thing didn't break mm -hmm. out of luck. This yeah. is a glass dome. 
it's fragile, okay? It's gonna break. So like, guys, when I got this, we went on a fishing trip <laughs> the next weekend. And I was like, oh, I'm bringing the unicorn, it's new. We're gonna bring it. We're getting ready to leave the jetty. And I, I was using it when we were packing everything up. <clears throat> and I set it on top <clears throat> of his car and we drive away. I don't grab it off the top of the car. And we heard something and we knew, obviously we looked in the rearview mirror because that was sitting on the ground. What, what had happened, and what made the noise that fell off the roof of the car mm -hmm. and Andrew realized that he probably broke a $175 piece of paraphernalia. So, you know, he jumps out, grabs it, turns it on, it works just fine. And mm -hmm. it kind of blew our minds because we were probably doing about 35 miles an hour down on yeah, and it, an I mean, asphalt road where it just tumbled. And then, look at this guys, this is the only, that's the only damage right there. I just chipped that, that must have been where I hit. So, I'll say that, it's solid. When it comes to day to day use, I use this thing, because I gave it a chance. It's not like I just bought it and decided, oh I don't like it anymore. I gave this thing a chance and I used the crap out of it. And it's efficient when it comes to, you know, all your oil stays in there, you just burn it until it's gone. But that's the biggest flaw with it as well, is that when, that oil has been in there for more than the first hit. It is some or of the even gnarliest. The first three hits. That's what I mean, after the first hit. Yeah. After the first, I don't even think three hits. I don't know. The oil that was in there was, was loaded before because it, we put a bunch of oil in it. We don't want to waste it. But it, the flavor is not what I wanted from it. I'm, I dab for the flavor. That is the reason why I smoke oil. Otherwise, I'll smoke flour. That's what I smoke mo most of the time anyways is flour. And I was hoping that this was going to be uh, a great, convenient way to smoke oil. to a Puffco, but yeah, because I don't—it's nothing compared to a Puffco. I mean, no, this not. thing is a decent product, but it's not a Puffco. No, and that's why it's 175 bucks. So honestly, I think it should be 100, 120 dollars, maybe at a smoke shop. I don't think it was worth. I just think that what the, I paid for. It. I think I was going to spend money on a device like this. I would just buy a $45 dab pen and not... Yo can Evolve Plus. I'm not going to spend $175 on a pen because it's fancy looking. Mm -hmm. right. And the thing is too is that you, I don't ever put water in this because when you put water in here a lot of the time it leaks. But it leaks a lot. This is the biggest design flaw with this thing is this coil being right under where the water is. Like literally there is a hole right there that leads right into the chamber and that is sitting right over the top of this it just doesn't it never made any sense to me i don't know why bob not angry impulse buy. we're just passionate about our uh, craft <laughs> yeah so and trust me when i say like i love to come on here and be like this was amazing i loved everything about it but this just wasn't one of those things for me i think that there are just a lot of things that could have been done differently with this device that should have been done differently like the number one thing is is the, the flavor. You don't get any, and, and they advertise, by the way, on their packaging, that quartz equals taste. Not like that, not like that. This does not equal taste. That equals a fucking, I don't even know. It's Lick, licking a pig's an butt hole. So I think, I think that pretty much sums it up for me. Yeah, that's about the video right there, guys. If you like a dab pen, if you like the flavor that you get from that, or I'll say this, I have not purchased the other coils that, that work for this. And those are apparently a quartz dish. Um, I, will, I will be buying those and we'll, we'll redo this video. See if there's a redemption yeah, video. For sure. And we'll do, you know, we'll shoot a comparison video. Maybe we'll do that in the same video. We'll use that as a platform to compare. But speaking for everybody else, Max. after trying this and trying a Seahorse Max, you don't feel as compelled to want to get all the new stuff for this and like, you know, invest in it anymore because you've already kind of decided that it's not your thing. Wait for the next thing, cool, next cool thing that comes out for the Seahorse Max or the Seahorse line in general. You know, that's that's probably the the most hype I feel towards Luca products, other than what they have for cheap dab rigs. If I was still, you know, really smoking out of a dab rig, but I don't even do that. So, yeah. But yeah, guys. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, sorry if you were expecting an unboxing. That's just not what this was. We don't have all those pieces anymore. Like seven months ago, so. <laughs> so, uh, yeah guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you learn a few things about it before you went out and bought it. If not, you know, I hope you enjoy it anyway, because 
It might be for you. It might be for you, but it's just not for me. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching the video until the end. And as always, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Can you turn it down a little bit? I can't hear the TV. Sorry. Love you. <laughs> Love you.